So research institutions across India are forming sabbatical policies for professors to build companies. There is one man who did it first. He's a portfolio founder of ours. He has been the trailblazer in supporting all these researchers turned entrepreneurs building deep tech solutions from India. He wants to build flying cars. Imagine, you know, move, going from Bangalore airport to Bangalore city in 15 minutes. Crazy dream, right? And this one, one wants to believe uh, that, you know, this is possible. Uh, the man behind this crazy dream, uh, Dr. Satya Chakravarti from E-Plane. <laughs> Professor. Uh, thanks, Vishnu. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, you, you really spoiled it, right? <laughs> I mean, if, if, if my investor actually tells me, tells everyone that what we're doing is actually so imaginative or whatever it is, how will the rest of the investors invest in me? Please, <laughs> this is not as, as difficult, by the way. It's doable, <laughs> right? So innovation is actually doable. Invention is actually where you have an unknown, okay? What we do is innovation, not invention. So. I think Vishnu talked about it. I can skip this, <laughs> right? Uh, just, just to give you some stats, uh, apparently we spend about three years of our lives stuck in traffic. That's actually a lot <laughs> if you think about it. And it's not just um, people, but also cargo. And um, that's something that we don't really think too much about. Uh, but cargo spews a lot of emissions. Uh, I think this is, this is supposed to be a, 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 a clean tech session. So let's talk about uh, trying to cut some carbon and so on. Um, why urban air mobility? I think uh, urbanization is actually growing around the world, um, particularly in India. Uh, and so populations are exploding in cities um, and uh, we need to actually have scalable solutions. Uh, no matter how many metro lines you have and metro stations and uh, highways and um, flyovers, all of these things, uh, they actually cause congestion, if you think about it, right? So, so while well, they're happening. So the only way we can think of actually doing this is to explore the third dimension. Uh, and um, that's what we are trying to do here. Why is it not so difficult, as I actually pointed out, is uh, there is a significant amount of um, uh, uh, advancement that's happening in the AV space. I think Narayan and, and Neeraj actually were talking about a lot of aerospace batteries and avionics that they have actually packed into motorbikes. Uh, if they are actually doing it in motorbikes, why can't we actually do it in actual planes? That's exactly what we should be doing. Um, and, um, and, and, and the thing, the more important thing, very similar to what uh, they were talking about, we can actually get a very affordable pricing and that's actually very, very important for the Indian market. Um, so while we're able to actually balance the, the tech as well as the market, the product market fit, right? This is actually about the right time. Uh, there are various studies that have actually um, um, uh, validated this in terms of what's the kind of shared mobility market that is, that is to be expected versus a cargo market to be expected. The answer is, there's, it's not a question of this or that, it's actually about both. We need to actually try to tackle all of those. So uh, there is a significant amount of tailwinds about this, particularly uh, in, in the Indian context uh, with, with uh, VCs coming up to uh, fund these kinds of things. Uh, and of course, I mean, I, I, have to, I have to say this. I think VCs in India will probably only fund things that are actually happening elsewhere as well. So uh, if I were to actually take a sabbatical to go around saying I will come up with a completely new thing that didn't exist anywhere in the world, I don't think I'll get funding in India, right? That, that, so just have to make that point. <laughs> So we started small and we are growing big. Um, our, our plan was before we actually even started uh, getting funding, before I actually started going on a sabbatical, um, I bootstrapped into actually making a very small plane, uh, about uh, a 1.7 meter wingspan uh, that is capable of carrying up to about six kgs payload. Um, and then we started building the E50, uh, which, which we have now um, shown to fly and we are actually working on a commercial prototype uh, for later this year, this, this next month, 
uh, and uh, early next year we should actually start commercializing it and uh, progressively we can actually make what is possibly the largest drone in the world and what's largest allowed in India which would be the E100 that's what a four and a half meter wingspan uh, that would actually look I mean the, the E50 is actually the size of a car uh, E100 would be bigger than a car uh, and of course the E200 is uh, the the passenger vehicle that we that we will actually be doing the first prototype of in the first half of next year to 2024 and further prototypes uh, through the through that year and uh, certification flight tests all of that stuff through 2025 so that uh, we can actually start commercializing it um, in that year so there is a there, there is the underlying um, uh, basis for all of this. So we um, try to actually have a scalable, compact, long-range pro prototype at every scale. Uh, we're the most compact in the world in whatever we do. Uh, the 1.7 meter wingspan for the E6 is actually the smallest of its class. Um, and why is it important? Um, it's important for us to be able to land in congested spaces and, and so on. Um, so, and that's, that's true all the way to the E200. Uh, we expect to actually be able to land in spaces that are just about as big as about 1,500 square feet. That's uh, the size of like a three bedroom apartment, um, floor space that is. Um, so that's the kind of, um, you know, footprint that we have. The wings allow us to actually um, go fairly long distances. Um, uh, and, and that's important because it's not exactly the long distance that really matters long distance like about 100 to 200 kilometers. Um, nobody really goes 100 to 200 kilometers within a city. Uh, and where you're really getting stuck in a city is actually in a distance of about 20 to 30 kilometers, let's say, right? And, and so we should be in a position to actually do multiple short trips before we have to actually have a downtime charging. And we have actually solved for that problem, how do we actually behave like a true taxi as opposed to just a fancy one one ride at a time kind of uh, a, a, a vehicle, um, so uh, so that actually we we have the best trip profile in the world, and it's not so easy for us to actually think about how we can make a very compact winged aircraft to fly very slowly, and so we have some IP that take it takes advantage of the fact that it's actually a VTOL um, that we have also packed into. I think we should start uh, playing this video now. Well, in the hope that we can actually get the video up, uh, I can probably um, appetize us by saying that that particular video was made um, by, uh, because the Secretary of Civil Aviation asked us to make this video over a weekend uh, for him to show to the entire um, uh, cabinet ministers chaired by the Prime Minister as well as the all the ministry secretaries uh, where he had a one hour session to talk about what's new in aviation. Uh, and so um, the, the, the entire top brass of uh, the country actually got to see this video. So, and then we thought that we would actually share that with uh, everybody else. I came to know Vishesh when he was actually scouting for us when uh, we were starting Agnikul. And uh, I think that went on, uh, that, 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 that started. I think that was about 2018, 2019 time frame. But the more important thing was Vishesh somehow actually got through the grape point. We, we, we didn't use, we were not talking very f frequently as uh, we do today at the time, uh, because I, I was actually an advisor to Agnikul, and uh, I think the Agnikul co-founders were dealing with him more frequently at that time. Uh, but I think he kind of got, got wind of it through the grape point that I had actually taken a sabbatical. The moment I had taken a sabbatical, Vishesh immediately texted me saying, we are meeting on January 15th. I would like to actually take a pitch deck from you. I'm like, oops, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't expect it to happen so soon. So this is actually um, the hallmark of uh, Vishesh. Um, I, I, would, I would like to think that it's also the same with Arjun in, in Bangalore circles, I don't know much. But in Chennai, Vishesh actually hunts for technical talent. Um, not really seen most other investors do that at all. Uh, in, in, in most of our human conversations, whenever we actually talk, two, two people talk, there's always kind of like a gradient. Somebody is like supposed to be giving, the other one is supposed to be taking. But what we have to understand is the seed investor is actually giving with a lot of promise on hold, but nothing really delivered. Uh, so he should actually be the one that everybody else should seek after, but he does the exact opposite, right? And 
although he doesn't really come across, Vishish is actually quite humble, <laughs> right? <laughs> right? So, and it's basically because of that, that he actually goes out and really hunts for talent. And time and time again, I have had a lot of other investors come to me asking for what Vishesh is after, okay? And Vishesh comes to me asking me, Prof, what is the next thing that's cooking in your lab? So you see how this pipeline is and where he is at the leading edge of the whole thing. Really hats off to him. Um, and <laughs> if there is, there is one guy in the country who is single-handedly shaping deep tech, I think we can easily say it's Vishesh. Thanks so much. Incubated at IIT Madras, the ePlane Co. is building India's first and world's most compact two-seater flying electric taxi. Founded by Professor Satya Chakrabarthi, we are the first Indian company to receive DGCA DOA for an electric aircraft. Our team has designed, developed, manufactured, Assemble and test it. The E6, India's most sustainable fixed wing hybrid EVTOL. Optimal for imaging and logistics applications. Now ready to be commercialized. E50, the subscale prototype of the flying taxi, has been tested and successfully flown. It's India's largest drone. 3 by 3 meter sized cargo carrier, now building the E200. We've built autonomous flight paths for collision avoidance. We'll set up autonomous ATCs for safe landing. On Verti ports, Verti hubs, Verti stops. You can fly on demand by booking the E200 on your phone at accessible pricing. Fly in the world's most compact air taxi by 2025.